water shortage has been an increasing concern all over the world because of the rapid urbanization and increased population with the finite amount of the fresh water on the earth. I am afraid in the future this water consumption may not be able to sustain when population increases to 8, 9 or 10 billion. That is why NTU's Residues and Resource Reclamation Center has been developing a decentralized urban resource recovery system to help world cities to sustain our limited amount of uh, natural resources such as water, materials, and land. And part of uh, our work, our research work, is to develop the next generation of the toilet, that which is the no mix and vacuum toilet. Here we have three toilet systems. The first toilet system is a conventional toilet that consumes 4 to 6 liters of water per flush. This means that the daily wastewater production is 40 to 50 liters per person daily. Another toilet system that was developed in Europe is the Nomix toilet, which diverts urine from fishes. This toilet allows the recovery of nutrients from urine, while making the remaining wastewater easier to treat. The Nomix toilet requires 0.5 liters of water to flush the urine and 2.5 liters of water to flush the feces. An advanced toilet system is the vacuum toilet. The vacuum toilet is used in airplanes and trains. This system has the advantage that consumes only 1 to 2 liters of water per flush. So in overall, all of these systems either consume too much water or do not separate urine from feces. Over the last year, we invent a new no-mix vacuum toilet system. This toilet system consumes only 0.2 liters of water for flushing the urine and 1 liter of water for flushing the feces. Therefore, the application of no-mix vacuum toilet system can save 9% of water consumption compared to conventional toilet systems. This is the fresh urine, and this is the urine we store for a certain period of time after hydrolysis. Our work here is trying to turn the original human waste into something very useful, such as a fertilizer and other applications. Compared to the other systems using synthesized material, our work here tried to recycle the industrial waste from the other industrial processes, which is more environmental friendly. After separating the human waste, we mix the feces with the food waste for biogas production. So the first step is to do the hydrolysis and the acidification process for uh, the volatile fatty acids production in the anaerobic digestion system. And then the second phase of anaerobic digestion is the methanogenesis phase where we produce the biogas. Another system is the single system that methanogenesis and acidification took place at the same time simultaneously and we produce the biogas and we can store it like this. So with the decentralized urban resource recovery system, NTU can help provide an alternative solution to world cities. Can you imagine in the future, a township, they would not worry about their waste management issues because all the waste generated by community can be repeatedly used and recovered. By doing so, actually, we can have a truly sustainable future.